Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. And good evening. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Let's Play series. Now, what am I doing here? This isn't... This isn't the heart. This isn't Cupid's Villager Breeder. What, what are we doing here? <laughs> so, uh... Desperate times, my friends. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And in this case, it's an iron farm. Oh, no. I broke, or I didn't break their beds, and now they're running back. This is terrible. <laughs> no. No. I tell you, you cart a few men out into the woods, you give them a nice cot, up above ground and then they run away from you ungrateful if you ask me and some time later i managed to get it to work aha that took a lot longer than i care to admit but never no matter oh hey a cat anyway but no matter we have a fully functional iron farm here this is as basic as it can get pretty much we got three villagers on each side they're all sleeping they're getting scared by our friend who just is just wanting to give him an apple you know he's a, he's a friendly fella i don't know what there's all to be scared about but no matter uh the iron golems will come and they eventually go into the the happy fun time sauce yeah uh-huh so if you want a little bit more detail on how this works i got a tutorial on my channel for this i'll try to uh put that in a pinned comment down below but uh the other things that the video doesn't cover is uh the trap doors that way i can just kind of jump in there flip those trap doors and that effectively turns this off so that's kind of nice and uh because i couldn't be bothered to bring stone over here <laughs> i used all wood <laughs> so to kind of defend from that we got a lightning rod up there that should cover our bases i think and uh, again yes this is in spawn chunks so long story short this is gonna run pretty much all the time and oh boy oh boy it hasn't been running for that long and it's already working quite nicely. No item filter yet. I can't be bothered. I just wanted to get this going so that it runs while we do our next thing. Next thing being a villager trading hall. But a big one. <laughs> so here we've got the site started. So what we'll have here is our... Uh, our villagers all lined up. We're going to put magma blocks here. The idea is that the magma blocks will stop their pathfinding, helping the lag out. But uh, yeah, we're going to be doing not just a ring. No, no. A whole inverted pyramid. <laughs> you see, the, uh, the inspiration for this one is actually a, a building from an anime or manga uh evangelion uh nerve headquarters to be more specific uh it's like a it, there's like an inverted py pyramid and then there's like a pyramid coming out of that now it's not going to be a replica this is going to be functional too so i'm going to be taking some creative liberties but I think it'll still look pretty nice. And uh, I just like that visually, that it's just visually striking. That, that inverted pyramid going deep into the ground and then the, then the pyramid coming out of it. Oh, I gotta kill these guys. I would like, by the end of the episode, that we get to the end. That is right. Without further ado, let's get grinding. I need diamond gear from these villagers. You think you think I'm going to go mining for my diamond gear? Pfft. Please. Who doesn't love the idea of converting carrots and potatoes into lethal equipment? 
Hello everybody, Buns from the Future here. At this point during the making of this video, I switched from using Optifine to using Fabric Performance Mods. This normally wouldn't cause any issues, except for when I don't change any settings in my recording software. So for the rest of the video, I didn't record any game audio. <laughs> so instead, for the rest of the video, I will be doing the sound effects with my voice. Enjoy! And what will be hours of my life will be just mere seconds of yours. <laughs> okay, what have I done? Well, I've played with some villagers and a wandering trader. Okay, this... FYI, this guy had a cactus? That's like huge. Okay, anyway, <laughs> what do we got going on here? Of course, we got farmers. You know what it is. We sell them wheat and other goods. Got some emeralds. Trained up these three fellers. So now, oh yeah, we can buy all diamond stuff. Huge. I did do some off-camera mining. Ho <laughs> ho. Trying to find some lapis. Couldn't find it. So, we got these three fellers. Mainly for lapis, but then I realized pearls. So we bought those as well. We got 16, so we got enough eyes of Ender to go find the stronghold. And then last but not least, we have the librarians mending and unbreaking. Oh yeah. So, once we get those elytra, we are set. And of course, how could I forget? We got potions of slow falling. Got the increased time on those. And then, just just for kicks, some strength 2 potions of splash. So I could just quickly go into super DPS mode. <laughs> totally overkill. Let's make those eyes a vendor. I did a little extra. Because you never know what happens. They could break, and that would break my heart. I, I think I'm over-equipped, honestly. <laughs> I went overboard. Prop 4, I'm breaking 3 on everything. Even, even feather falling. We got the potions, of course. The weapons. We got the equipment necessary. We even got the portal. A shield, because why not? Now all we need is to ride upon our most trusty steed, Ding Dong. And now we find which direction leads us to destiny. That way. Oh, that broke? That sucks. Oh, okay. See, this is why we made 16. All right, Ding Dong. That was a bad omen. Godspeed, Ding Dong. God speed. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, yep. Very close. Let's find a low point and start digging. Should have found it by now. I don't know what depth these things stay at anymore. Ooh, lapis. How deep do the strongholds go? Bingo. I just had to look a little deeper. <laughs> now finding the portal room. Sometimes easier said than done. Got it. Alright. Oh no. Okay, we gotta 
clear out these beans. Here, let's just take this out. I have no interest in silverfish farms. Sorry, silverfish enthusiasts. Just not interested. Okay. <laughs> There we have it. Bada bing, bada. Time to slay a dragon. Of course. I'm a dragon. Of course, this is like the worst landing pad. Coming into my house. You coming no, into I didn't my bother house. with the pumpkin Don't head, but crystals. I think I'm pretty good at not mind. looking Enderman in the eye. Bye. Oh, you defended your crystal. <laughs> but for how long? Too long. Dragon wants to toss me. Not today, Jean. Not today! Oh, you know my name? Well, that's so sweet of you. Still gonna kill you. It's time to do damage. Bow, bow. Ow, that hurts. Bow, bow. I'm gonna be breathing my nasty breath. Bye. 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 I've got an army of Endermen at my side. Your days of terror are through, Dragon. Coming back down for another breath. Bye. No, no, oh, you're so strong, you're so cool. Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm exploding. Oh, no. Oh. And there you have it. That's how you slay your dragon. <laughs> That's just part one. We're not done yet. We gotta go get our elytra. Oh, heck yeah. Right now. And away we go. Please don't be crap. Please don't be crap. Hey. This ain't crap at all. Now, if I'm super lucky, there's going to be a city. Like, any minute now. Huh? Huh? Not so lucky, huh? Okay, this is one of those times I'm going to increase the render distance. That didn't really help at all. <laughs> uh, but it might help in the long run. It's always nerve-wracking, isn't it? <laughs> the toss of faith. Oh, hey, okay, we, I think we got a city over there. Yep. I'm going to get to that city. We're going to get shulkers. We're going to get elytra. And we're going to go home. Oh, it's got a boat too. I don't have looting on my sword. So we're not going to go too hard on the shulkers today. But you know. Picking up a few doesn't hurt. You know, it took me the longest time to realize that you just need to put a block here to make a a full staircase. <laughs> That's just me. I hope it's not just me. Never forget a crafting table, boys and girls. Oh. So you can make your shulker boxes on the fly. Learn from my mistakes. And there it is. Dun 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 dun. 
I'm back, baby. Yes. And of course, we can't forget the dear old dragon head. Now, if I could be so lucky to find a portal back, why, that would be grand. Yep, not seeing it. So, uh, we're just going to go back the way we came. I don't think this was our home portal, our original one, but hey, portal's a portal is a portal. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. And of course, last but not least, the dragon egg. Just do a little bit of a one-two. Stick a torch right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Got the egg. And with that, let's get out of here. Ah. <sighs> you know, I think this is an appropriate time to say, just especially, thank you very much for watching. This isn't the end of the episode exactly, but just thank you if you've uh, liked the series or have gotten this far. I appreciate you. Oh, ding dong, it was <laughs> so amazing. I should have ridden you into battle, but alas, uh, I didn't. Uh, I hope you forgive me. Would you? W would you forgive me? Hmm. Stubborn, as usual. First shulker boxes. Oh heck yes! Even though it's only two. <laughs> and then of course, how could I forget? All right, you see these wings on my back? Fully upgraded. Oh, yes. Glorious. Oh, little Pierre. Pierre ran into our life at some point here. Not sure where his brother Jules is, though. Where is he? Do you know? I guess we'll find him eventually, right? I hope so. Anyway... And, uh, just a temporary little case. I had to do something for the dragon egg. Can't just put it in a box. That's crazy. Just a little, little simple glass case. We'll have to come up with something more fancy later on. There you have it. We've made a huge ton of progress here. Next thing's on our to-do list. Well, it's just gonna be playing the rest of the game, right? <laughs> but, um... Main things to on our to-do list is a good source of sugar cane and gunpowder. Because we need rockets now. Uh, a more consistent source of that. So that's definitely on my mind. I hope to live stream some more here in the future. So uh, keep your notifications on for that. I hope you all enjoyed just a fraction of the amount I did. And oh boy, do I enjoy myself. <laughs> making these videos uh, anyway you all have a good one I'll see you all later until next time enjoy your lives bye bye for now bye bye